Hey guys, welcome to the long-awaited and very much long-spoken-about uh, video on my Euromastics cage. Uh, I'll just get down to it. Uh, this is a, I want to say, 56, 55, 56 inch by 56 inch long by 18 high by 18 wide cage for my 9-year-old Mala Euromastics. His name is Zeke. Um... I've had him for eight years, probably. I got him when he was a year old. He's freaking out a little bit because of the camera, but that's okay. Uh, I just want to say really fast, disclaimer, it does look very dark, but I promise to you, I swear on my life, it is not this dark. I don't want to get a bajillion comments, that's too dark for your mastics. Just want to say right now, uh, the lighting in my room just makes it look really dark. Um, on this side, but I swear it's not, so that's just really fast. Anyways, I want to get down to it because I'm really, really happy with the way this cage turned out. Uh, my dad made it for me uh, with me helping him with the, you know, dynamics of it. So uh, this is just, I want to say it's not mahogany because that's not, it's just like a simple wood we had left over in the house. Uh, we had it here and here. Um, so it's acrylic. An acrylic tank and it is like I said 56 by 18 by 18 and these are two sliding doors he attached handles to it no uh, it well, slid earlier sometimes the sand gets stuck in it but it slides all the way to the other side they're a little loud but Oop. and it is like I said acrylic he made it so it is fully um, you can f um, completely take it apart down here, so one time the sliding doors open it up all the way, go in here, go over there, don't freak them out. Um, and it's sealed, you know, he can't get in. These are little grooves, uh, grooves on top. Anyway, so he could take this, the screws out of this side and the screws out of that side, and um, just completely take these doors out if I wanted to clean these. We had to do that uh, a couple weeks ago because I forgot to vacuum the rudders or the, you know, whatever this is, the seam. And he is very, very messy and likes to put sand everywhere. I actually just cleaned it before he came out. He's like, what is that in my face? He's shedding. So that's pretty cool. Uh, he's usually... Like I said, he's a Molly or Mastix. He's usually really, really yellow, but he just got out about, he just woke up like an hour ago. So he's, has been out long enough. It's like mid-afternoon, but he just woke up. Uh, so I'll get down to what I have in the cage uh, really fast. This is a 150 watt bulb and it's just like an exoterra, like daylight or just holding thing. Uh, this is a... Oh, that's a caution label. You know, whatever it is. Just one of those UVB, UVA lights, and I just have a UVA, UVB light in it. <sighs> I don't know the exact details, but I know that it works. Um, so really fast, these completely lift up. So not only do I have this, but um, like when I'm vacuuming out this, um, I can lift these up and put the vacuum down in. And of course he's not there, so I'll just take this off really fast. See all my crap. Oh now it's even darker. And um can lift this all the way up. All the way. And this is a brace because it is made of acrylic, so it's not as sturdy. And this is just steel. Some sort of metal steel mesh iron not iron. But uh Yep, that's, that's the light, it just goes right back on there, look at that, beautiful. And uh, his basking spot in the summer, which is summer, uh, gets up, pardon if he freaks out a little bit, I really never put the camera in front of his face. Um, it gets to be about, I want to say, 120, 130 in the summer. In the winter, fall, spring, it's more like 110, 120 on a hot day, or on a warmer day. Um, and I know that he 
excuse me, I know that he's getting enough light because, um, or enough heat because when he first comes out, he comes and he basks on it. And then when he's, you know, had enough for that time, he'll go and he'll sit where he is or he'll sit over there where he was in the beginning. Or he'll run around and go crazy and put seeds everywhere, everywhere in his cage. <laughs> that was nice, white, clean sand, but of course, it's okay. He, he's a lizard. Um, so I, uh, to the aesthetics, I have slate tile. It was a, like, 12 by 12 slate tile that I broke on accident, and it ended up really looking nice. And I just filled the seams in with, like I said, he moved around a lot, so. I filled the seams in with sand, and, uh, that's good for his nails to, like, keep them dull. Not dull, but, you know, you know, keep them nice and sharpened. Um, and then it gets, it doesn't get really warm, but it gets warm. Um, and it kind of just adds a little bit more heat. And these are all fake plants. Every plant that you see in here is fake. Uh, he is an herbivore, well, omnivore, but mostly herbivore. He eats lettuce, and but I'll probably get into that another time. You know, there's plenty of information sheets out there on your mastics, but this is just uh, like Mopani wood, uh, driftwood. I had it, I've had it for a couple years now with him. That's poop. I'm sorry. He just did that. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. He's about, I want to say. 10 to 12 inches long? No, he's not even that. Yeah, he's like, he doesn't look like it, but I'll be very, very gently. See how he freaks out. This is my hand. See, he's not huge, but he's not small either. Um, really fast, back into the aesthetics. Uh, these are all ledges that I built from clay, and he doesn't really go on them, but they're there for fun, and if he wanted to go on them, he could. I'll come back over here. See, they're like that. And uh, I turned the cage on its back uh, before everything was in here, and I attached those with just Loctite. It's safe. It only has its fume for a day when it's drying, and that's it. And that little rock is there because this is not the most stable thing ever. <laughs> I had to attach it after the fact because, yeah, it's a little, it's a little flimsy. But like I said, he doesn't really go on it. He's not that heavy. And uh, I put him on there just to make sure. But he's really not that heavy. I'll close that and freak him out more. Now to the cool side of his cage, which gets in the 80s once that light is on. So that's, this is his bowl with uh, bird seed. I just use, um, this is what I use. It's healthy select parakeet diet, all natural, whatever. Uh, I just, I look on the back and make sure it has like good stuff going on. I look at the ingredients and uh, there's like, Oh, well, that's the Spanish side. There's like millet, and a lo there's a lot of millet and grass seeds and stuff, and uh, he likes that. When I first got him, uh, I had him strictly on millet seed, uh, millet like uh, substrate, and then I switched him to sand, and then I switched him to uh, like alfalfa pellets, which this which worked, like he liked them, and you know they were safe if he actually ate them or anything. But then I got kind of bored of those because they're really ugly. And then I switched him to, I had this huge, like, setup with, like, excavator clay, and I was super excited about it. And then he ended up destroying it because he's a tank, and your mastics like to dig and burrow, so he just thought he could re-landscape what I worked so hard on. <laughs> That's why there is no excavator clay in this setup at all, ever. There's only clay that is hardened, <laughs> and sand, and slate, and things he can't destroy. But yeah, all the seed on the ground, he can eat it, like it's, he's smart, like he's never, only one time he got impacted, and it wasn't because of the sand, it was because um, I fed him a raspberry, and there was just too much seeds in it, and he got impacted, but he got through it. I just soaked him in some water a couple days in a row, and he was totally fine, like it wasn't really that big of a deal. But uh, yeah, people will say like, oh, don't put your lizards on sand, like, they'll get impacted, Honestly, if you, I feed him by hand his lettuce, and what I do in this cage now is I brush off with this paintbrush I have, um, that's how I clean it too, I brush off the sand, and I set the, you know, he eats off my hand, and whatever he doesn't eat, I just set in the middle of the slate, and then he finishes it. <sighs> Your mastics, um, they, I like to give him a sand, or not sand, I like to give him a, uh, um, seed variety because he does like to come and munch on it. He really did on the last cage he was in. 
Um, and like I said, these are all fake plants. This is a real rock. I boiled it a long, long time ago. It's been in its cage for a while. If you see here, it's smooth and really rough right here because he comes over like most lizards uh, that I've seen. Your mastics, they run and they just like climb up on these sides of the wall and he runs and this is closed obviously, but he'll run and like scratch all along here and it's, she's just like, he just puts sand everywhere. But I don't really care, I just clean it. Okay, to his hide, this is custom made hide that I like measured to his body and stuff and make sure it was really big. Um, there's a clay clay piece like this running along here and then it stops and then there's another one here. And then this little piece right here is like, I don't want to lift it up because it's, it's like fragile but it's not, it's held together by mu museum wax which I just covered and then I covered with sand. So... There, it's about that deep. This is like two, two and a half, three inches of sand too. Well, not over here, but over here it's like really deep. Probably like two, two and a half inches. And then I just built a one on top to go on top. I got sand on my hands. And then, so he usually goes in this side and then he comes out this side or vice versa. And then he also sometimes pushes it to where it's like way over here. And that's fine too, you know, I really don't care as long as he's happy and he like does whatever he feels like with his tank, with his, with his cage is fine. So he goes on top of there, he goes, runs around all day long, just runs, runs around. Also what I give him is hibiscus. So I'll kind of get into like the, what I feed him. Sorry, it seems really loud, it's really not. Um, hibiscus, um, sorry this video is so long, it's just like a whole informational video. Uh, what I feed him Along with the seeds, I feed him. He likes watermelon in the summertime. Uh, he some he'll eat a couple pieces of cantaloupe, um, strawberries. Um, not a big fan of fruit, but mo he'll eat strawberries. He hates water. Um, your mastics and a lot of most desert lizards, you know, they get their water through their. It's okay, buddy. He's gonna... He just closes his eyes. He's like, they get their water through. Um, the food they eat, and he's so picky, I'll, um, I'll put, like, sprinkle some water on his food, and he'll just, he won't eat it. If I put any sort of water on anything, he will not eat it. So, I mean, if he knows how to survive, that's fine, but I'll just keep feeding him. He's still alive. So, I feed him, like, romaine. Uh, I really like the red leaf lettuce, like, the dark purple red leaf lettuce. Um, he doesn't really like mustard greens. He kind of likes kale. Um, but you can feed those to your mastics too. They just depends on which one you get, you know. They all have their different personalities. I wish he was really colorful right now, but I'll definitely get another video of him when he's colorful. Really, really pretty. Um, you know, I feed him any pretty much all sorts of lettuce except for iceberg and definitely no beets. Most people know, or not beets, um... <laughs> Uh, spinach. No spinach. No, no, no. They cannot have spinach. One time when I first got him, like, I tried to feed him spinach. Like I said, I had him for eight years, so I had him when I was a little kid, which these are not beginner lizards. Please do not. From my own experience, I got one. I got him. I was way too young, and as you can see, if he doesn't freak out, his tail is no longer spiked. Uh, they usually have really big, beautiful spikes on their tails. But uh, sadly, I didn't take the best care of him, and I'll, li I'll own up to it. Like, I didn't take the best care of him, and uh, he lost all his spikes on his tail because he couldn't shed his tail, and it just wasn't shedding. Like, he wasn't getting the right nutrients. That's why he's a little smaller than he really should be. He could be, like, 12 to 16 inches. <laughs> like, 12, 14, maybe 16 inches. But uh, he's just not because I didn't take the best care of him. But now I am, and he's really, really doing good. He shed twice in the past couple months, and that's really good. And I'll probably give him a soak uh, in warm water, because he's always had a kind of a hard time shedding, so I'll give him a soak uh, in the next couple days to just get the remaining skin off of him. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much just what I feed him, uh, just a variety of lettuces, and I always feed him by hand, because that's just how I do it. And plus I have sand, sand in here, so I don't want him to get impacted. I just don't want to eat sand, like, that's not fun. And, uh, hibiscus, he loves that. Loves, loves, loves. I've read on the internet it's considered, like, the king of your food. 
Uh, and I think so. He loves it. He doesn't even hesitate. Like, I put it in front of his face, and he eats it. doesn't even lick it. Uh, if I can get him to do it, he, they lick, they lick things. Not like, they don't have a forked tongue. They have like a, no, he's not going to do it. He's like, what the heck, what is that in my face? Come on, buddy. No, he won't do it. It's okay. He has a really red little tongue that he like licks everything. It's almost like a little chameleon tongue. It's kind of sticky. And, uh, yeah. He just... He just chills in here all day, and then once he gets super warmed up, he just goes insane and runs around and destroys stuff, and then he goes to bed, and I clean it up, and he does it all again the next day. So that's pretty much it. I finally got the video of my your Mastics. I'll definitely keep him. Oh, there. I'll definitely put him in the update videos. Sorry. <laughs> I'll definitely put him in the update videos and keep you guys updated on him because he's awesome and I hope to have him for another couple years because he only lived to be about 15 20 maybe, maybe 20 and I doubt he'll live to 20 so thanks guys for watching uh, any questions you have go ahead and comment and uh, thanks again see you next time